If you have been following Big Dog Mom for any length of time, well then you may have heard me talk about the very real struggle that we have had trying to find a fence for Junior and Sully at our new home here in Michigan. We moved from Arizona a couple years ago from a fenced yard to now a property that does not have a fence and we have close to seven acres of basically all wood. My two Mastiffs, Junior and Sully, love to explore in the woods, which really isn't a problem, but we live on a private drive where there are pedestrians and other dogs that walk frequently up and down our road, and it's just, it's not very far from where our house sits. And so the dogs, when they see people, of course they wanna go say hello, which is a problem. So, not that I necessarily am concerned about what Junior and Sully will do to anyone or any dog, but we can't control what the other people and the other dogs will do. And it is completely inappropriate behavior that I certainly don't want to reinforce or reward the dogs for doing that. And in other words, their interaction with that person or that dog to them is a reward. And so for a variety of reasons, I'm super excited to announce today that I am partnering with Spot On GPS Fence and their geo fence collars that they were kind enough to send Junior and Sully. So we are super excited Excited to try them out. What I thought I would do in this video is simply to get their collars unboxed so that you can see them. And then what we will also do in this video is I will walk you through how we set up their fence. And so the way Spot On works, it's a geo fence. And I will explain more about that here shortly. But for now, if you are new to this channel, my name is Stephanie, AKA Big Dog Mom. And on this channel, I provide information and resources like Spot On GPS Fence that help you and your dog live your best life together. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. And again, I am super excited to let you know that we have finally found a solution to our problem. We hope we are gonna be trying this out for the first time, and I'm excited to take you along with me. All right, let's get this unboxed. One thing you should know is that Spot On has three different size collars, and so they have a small, medium, and a large. The large actually goes up to 26 inches in diameter, the thick part of your dog's neck. What you should know is that before I unbox this, you're gonna see there are a few things in here that if you were to order, you may not see them in your box, and that is an extender. I had reached out to Spot On, and I think I mentioned this in one of the Big Dog Weekly newsletters. If you're not a subscriber, definitely you want to uh, to do that. Just go to bigdogmom.com slash subscribe. But in one of those newsletters, I talked about the fact that I had reached out to Spot On to see if they had a way that they could extend the collar, even if they would know that it would be possible to do it. Well, there's Junior. Hello, do you want to see this? Do you want to see what's in here? Um, so I had reached out to them to see if there was a way to extend the collar and I worked with them over the last few months and their manufacturing team was able to rig a way to send us a couple of extenders for the collars to make sure that Sully and Junior got a great fit because Junior's neck when fit tightly, it's about 31, 32 inches. And again, that's when it's fit really tight. I was able to work with them and get a, a solution for them. Okay, so here's one. And then let's pull this out. Okay, so that must be probably the extent. Okay, so here are the two boxes. And then these are probably the extenders. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this box. We ordered two size large collars for Junior and Sully. Spot On was kind enough to send us these in partnership with Big Dog Mom to share our experience with you guys. So here we go. So here is what comes in. Hopefully you can see that. So let's take this out. So it comes with the collar and then there's a user guide in here. So we'll need that to set up everything. The charger. So this will be the charger that the collar sits on in order to charge. And I want to say you need to do that every single night. So that's probably something that goes with that. These are the probably the prongs that would go, yeah. Oy, oy. So these are the prongs that will fit onto the collar as a signal for your dog. 
And then we've got a cord. I'm assuming this is like the power thing, probably for the battery. The battery. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So let's see what else. Let's see this. This is what I wanted to check out. Okay. So here is the collar. And this is where I'm guessing you would put the little, the little prongs. So Junior and Sully have very large necks, <laughs> to put it mildly. So we will probably use the larger ones is my guess. But there are two different sizes in here. So this will just fit right on the inside of the collar. And I'm assuming that just screws in like that. Remember, this video is not going to be a full review because we haven't actually tried these out. So all I really wanted to do was to get them out of the box. I am going to show you the extenders, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to check this out, show you what came in the box, and then we will walk through in the second half of this video how to set it up and everything because frankly I need to read through the user manual there are a bunch of videos on the spot on website as well that I will take a look at before we actually go outside so we have seven acres to walk so that'll take that'll take me just a little bit of time in order to get the whole thing set up but I will take you along for the ride I hope you are as excited as I am to get this set up I know Junior and Sully will be very excited to not have a big dog mom always on their heels saying, no, no, don't go to the street. So I'm excited to have that freedom back again for the dogs. So let me open what's in here. These are the extenders that they sent me. Oh, so easy. Okay, so let's see. I might have did that the wrong way. Here. Okay, so that was all they did. So they sent me three of these, so you are aware. So this is the large size. Okay, so you just kind of push that down, hopefully you can see that, and then extend it all the way out. So when fully extended, this I believe is 26 inches. All right, so there's that. So that would be 26 inches around and that's their size large. But again, as I mentioned, 26 inches is about Sully when, when measured very tightly around his neck. So we may in fact use one of these for Sully. And I think Junior might be fine with just one, but he may require two as well. So they sent me a couple, uh, one extra to just make sure that the collars will fit the dogs. So I'm super excited to try these out. One thing I should also mention is that links to everything that we talk about, as always, is down, down in the description below. Spot On was kind enough to give the Big Dog Mom audience $100 off if you're interested in buying the GPS fence for your dog. You just have to basically, when in checkout, you just want to use the code Big Dog Mom so to get that $100 off. So it's a fantastic deal, and I'm super excited to partner with them. One other thing that they did also tell me is that they do provide a 15% discount for multi-dog purchases. So if you you need more than one collar for the second collar it's 15% off and then they also told me that military veterans and first responders also get 15% off so that's just it's a fantastic company I, I'm super excited to partner with them and I'm really excited to see how well this GPS fence works for Junior and Sully all right let's get this set up okay I just wanted to show you really quick so this is these were all of the little things that came in the box so we've got the, the actual unit for charge the plug oh. and then the cord and so you basically just stick the USB so it's got a USB on one end that wow does not there we go so USB on one end USB-C on the other end this one goes into the little charging base this little charging base and then we figured out that this is actually a contact point tester so we're assuming that once this is charged up then this will let you know whether you've got these contact points in the right position and working so there's little contact points on the inside there and so the unit itself sits like this so that these contact points are in line with that so it just sits like that. Okay, so we had to resort to the directions to make sure that we understood. So basically you're supposed to push and hold the power button until the LED starts flashing white. Then the LED will turn solid red and turn off for a few seconds. Okay, so it just did. 
and then we're going to connect it. Once connected, the LED status indicator will slowly flash green telling you that the battery is charging. It will take 90 to 120 minutes to fully charge the collar. Okay, we are back. Now that I've got the collars charged up, I am ready to get my spot on GPS fence set up. So what I am going to do is take you with me as I go through this process. I have a screen record on my phone so you can see what I'm actually doing in order to to mark the boundaries of our property. And then I will walk you through this whole process from start to finish so that you can see from unboxing to a finished fence uh, what that process looks like and to see how so far it's been super simple. So once I got the collars all charged up, I went on to the the Google Play Store, or if you have an Apple phone, you're gonna to go to the App Store, and I downloaded the Spot on GPS Fence app. And this app, so far in using it, has been incredibly intuitive, super easy to follow. It kinda of just walks you through uh, what to do. And so while the user guide is very helpful, the actual app itself has been super simple to use. So basically all I did is there's a little QR code on the collar. It will walk you through, uh, you know, just entering some basic information about your dog and you can upload a picture of your dog, which is super cute. Put in some basic information about your dog and then you get the collar connected. And then it's gonna walk you through getting a Bluetooth connection so that the app is speaking to the collar and then you will be ready to go ahead and set up your fence. One thing that did occur that I wasn't expecting whenever I did that is once I got the collar connected, it actually had a, like a firmware update that was that happened with both collars. So just be prepared for that. It took about five minutes for the total update to occur. And I'm assuming that that will happen periodically that, you know, as they as spot on pushes updates to, to the firmware and that sort of thing that you will occasionally have updates to your collar, which is awesome. It just knows that, I mean, that now this is super up to date and we are ready to go. As you can see, we live on a wooded property. And so, and it's basically a rectangular shape with our house in the middle. So all we are gonna do today is go ahead and walk our property. They have a function in here where you can um, pause it at your landmarks and then it will physically draw a line. Because we've got a pretty decent sized property. So physically walking a straight line will be very difficult given all of the obstacles in our way. But I am currently sitting in what's called forest mode. Uh, Spot on GPS fence has what's called a forest mode. And so that is currently on because we are in the woods. But I will share more about the, a lot of the features and benefits in my next video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk the property. As I said, I'm gonna do a screen record of the app. And so as we get going, you will be able to see step-by-step step how I'm getting our spot on GPS fence set up. All right, let's get going. Okay, so I clicked on set up fence or create fence. And so it's giving me the option to either do a custom fence or a circular fence. The circular fence is not really gonna work for us. So I am going to choose the custom fence. And so now it says, see how to set up your GPS fence. So we're gonna hit continue. And then it says, so when creating a custom fence, remember, allow for the fence alert or warning zone. Um, and that is that, that boundary of about 10 feet. So what that means is basically you just wanna make sure that you have, you are allowing for that boundary drift of about 10 feet. And then you want your fence to be at least 80 feet wide, which we have more than enough space for that. And then you wanna keep at least 15 feet from roads and other hazards. So we will be well over 15 feet from our road. And so we are all set to get started. Okay, so now it is checking its GPS signal. So I'm holding the collar. Okay, so now it's saying get ready to move. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get to one of the boundaries of our, one of the corners of our property property and then I'm going to hit start. Okay, so I am standing at one corner and I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Okay, and now because I'm not going to be able to walk a straight line, I'm going to hit pause and then try to navigate to the next corner. Okay, now I just hit resume and pause again. So I think I marked the next boundary and now we're going to head this direction and hopefully find our next boundary marker. 
Okay, I wanted to just show you something really quick. So a few months ago, I purchased a separate collar system for the dogs, but it was a remote one that would allow me to sound notify the dogs when they got close to the boundary. So what I did, if you wanna show, so I put out these blue flags. See how uneven this, this boundary is? We actually, it's a straight uh, rectangle on our property, but you can see how terribly I, <laughs> I did those, the blue flags here. So nonetheless, I just wanted to point that out that I'm ex super excited about the, the spot on GPS fence because it's going to mark a straight line between our points. So we will see how well it works, but I'm super excited to improve on my blue flag fiasco. <laughs> Okay, marker number three, on to number four. Let's get going. Every time I see a wild mushroom, I always think of the episode of The Office where Michael starts to eat the mushroom and Dwight, it like attacks him. Oh my gosh, too funny. Okay, so let's keep walking. Okay, so this is the, uh, the far end of the one uh, boundary. So we know we're in the right spot, thank goodness. Uh, this, my son came through before us and marked everything out as you can see. So, looks like he was spot on. Ha! <laughs> so unfortunately, I think we might be lost. I can't find the other boundary marker. So, um, okay, let's just keep, let's keep walking over this way. But now, oh, look at those little mushrooms. Look at those fun mushrooms. Don't eat them. I have no idea if they're safe. I think, look around for the white flags. Whoa, maybe that was right, I don't know. Then I think, then we've gotta go down this way, love. So here we are, we're gonna resume. Okay, so now we're gonna hit pause. So we got our, let's see, one, two, three, fourth, fourth marker. Um, and now we're gonna go start to close the loop. One thing I remember from the instructions is that it says you wanna make sure that you hit finish before you hit that, the point where you started. And then that, will, that should make it save properly. But I also wanted to show you really quick how unstraight my blue flags are. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's get this finished. Now, right before we get to that white flag, I'm gonna hit resume and then finish. Name my friend, my fence. What should we name this? Big dog mom. No. Yeah. Um, big dog. Big dog boundary. Big dog fence. This off. Fence? Yeah. <laughs> right here. But that's okay. That's actually okay. Okay, so, so that is about right for where we drew the line. So it does. It doesn't fully shut the dogs off from the cantaloupe patch, unfortunately. Okay, now we got Sully's collar all set up. We've got the big dog home fence active. What we, we have a couple more steps to do before we actually put the collars on the dogs. So um, that process is a couple fold. So one thing to remember is that your spot on GPS fence is located within the collar itself. It isn't a buried wire, as you can tell. We didn't bury anything. There's no physical boundary. The, the fence itself is in the collar. So because of that, we get the pleasure of doing what we just did here one more time with Junior's collar. And then what we are gonna do is walk the perimeter with both collars, putting flags in strategic locations where it's really important for our dogs to see a visual cue of where their boundary is. So specifically in between our neighbors, so the sides of the property where there are our neighboring homes, and then the spot in the driveway along this section so that they know when they see people or other dogs walking across the street that they know their boundary stops here. So, and that will also give us the added benefit of the dogs not getting into the garden, which they have done numerous times. And so we are very excited to keep the dogs out of the garden. Okay. So so this is super exciting. So I wanted to just, now that we are inside, we have Sully's collar set up. We have the big dog fence or big dog home, I think is what I called it. 
fence set up for Sully's collar. Now we need to go through the process of getting Junior's set up. And I'm super excited. I actually thought I would have to walk the perimeter one more time with Junior's collar. And I was thinking, well, that's going to be really hard to make sure that I'm getting the exact points that I got with Sully's collar. So the awesome thing is I just realized that when I clicked on, I got Junior's call, collar connected, it allows me to select a fence. And so I'm basically going to select Big Dog Home and it's loading Junior's fence into his collar right as we speak. So let's see. Recording? Yep, I am screen recording. Make sure the caller, yep, during the update, please. Okay, so upload fence. Yes. Okay, so now, oh boy, and it is almost done. Okay, so now that we have our big dog home fence set up for both Junior and Sully, Mom, we've. This collar's blinking. Show it. Oh, oh, it used to be. It was, was it blinking? It was blinking white. Oh, it was? Mm -hmm. Probably because it was connected. Okay, cool. All right, so now we've got Junior set up, big dog home is active. And we've got Sully, and then now, so to see it, I would have to connect Sully in order to see and verify that the Big Dog Home fence is now active, and it is. So that is fantastic news. So honestly, that setup could not have been easier. I am super impressed with the Spot On GPS app. Unbelievably impressed. I actually brought the instruction manual thinking I would need it, and truly, it was all contained within here. And even with the wooded lot that we have, I mean, it was seriously like an episode of Alone. We were lost out there. Help! We need help. <laughs> we were having to, uh, you know, dodge trees and... Ah! See? It's snagging my pants. Branches, logs, and... Spider webs. Spider webs. I got a spider web in my hair. Um, so it was treacherous out there, but we were able to do it. It really only took... Well, just the time it took us to walk the property. So not a big deal at all. I'm super impressed, excited that we've got in a, in a very easy way. We only had to walk the property one time, thank goodness. And so now all we have to do is walk. Well, now we do have to walk the property one more time, at least in the strategic locations where we definitely want the dogs to have a visual cue of where their boundary is, at least for the initial training. And so that is what we are gonna show you in our next video. And that will be just kind of the training. So spot on, a GPS fence does have a, uh, a but some videos that, that walk you through how to train your dogs. And so we'll be going through the process that they recommend. And I'll show you with our dogs, with Junior and Sully, how that process works. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you in the next video some of the features and benefits that we really didn't cover. This video was just strictly an unboxing and an early setup, an early look at these collars. But there's so much more that this spot on GPS fence offers for you and your big dog. So we will cover much of that in our next video. If you have a big dog or you just want one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel and clicking that notification bell so you are notified when I publish more awesome big dog content. And if you got value from this video, as always, click that like button and let me know. And don't forget, there are links to everything we discussed in this video in the, in the description below, including a link to a full blog post of the spot on GPS fence that I think you will find very informative. And don't forget, if you are interested in this, if you feel like already just with this video, this spot on GPS fence might be a great fit for you and your big dog or big dogs, uh, definitely use my uh, my code that will save you $100, which is a substantial savings. My code is Big Dog Mom. So all you have to do is enter Big Dog Mom at checkout. It should be super simple. There's a place where you put that code. If you do that, you'll save $100. And keep in mind, you save $100, you got more money for Big Dog merch. So with that, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye for now. My idea was blank. <laughs> Hold on, I think it's because I didn't do it straight. Download, is it download or upload? Download. I don't think it's download. It's up in the Play Store from developers, and then it goes down into your phone. Okay, uh, I think it's upload. No, you don't, because you don't have the app on your phone, and you just upload it to someone. Download is like a file, okay.
Hold on. Hold on. 